Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. Today, we're going to have a reading. We're going to start out with tarot, three cards for the month of November for your zodiac sign. Are you ready? Let's get rolling. Okay, first what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle the cards. So, let's get the deck out here. Okay, keep my cards in a cloth to keep them clean, really. And we're going to start out our spread. I'm going to show you this from a top view, all right? So you get a better look at the cards. This is a tarot card reading for Sagittarius, people born November 22nd to December 21st for the month of November 2021. So let me say a little bit here about the strengths and weaknesses, and this is a generalization, of Sagittarius. Strengths, generous, idealistic, great sense of humor, weaknesses, promises more than they can deliver, very impatient, will say anything no matter how undiplomatic. Now, if that fits you, okay, if it doesn't, well, maybe some of the things do, maybe some of them don't. Maybe you've got all the strengths and none of the weaknesses, or the other way around. Let's see, we're going to do a three card draw here. First, I'm going to shuffle the cards three times. I'll move my pendulum. Okay, so I cut the cards. One. Whoa. The deck blew up. All right, but since that card looked like it was trying so hard to look me right in the face, that one will get chosen. But I'm going to redo the shuffle. Okay. So we'll count this as the first shuffle. Right, there's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. All right, now I'm going to spread the cards out here. I have a limited amount of room to work with, so bear, wi bear with me here. Otherwise the cards get out of view of the camera and we don't want that to happen. All right, so I'm gonna draw two more cards because I've already got one. So here we go. Grab somebody hidden back here. Take another one from here. All right, there we got that. Now, I'll put back together here all the cards and set the deck off to the side. Bring these three cards down here in your view. Now I'm going to adjust the camera so you have a close-up view of these cards. Okay, there we go.
Now, the first card is a card that represents what you need to let go for the month of November. The second card represents what you need to know for the month of November. And the third card represents an upcoming opportunity. Okay, so here's the first card. We've got the Queen of Swords. So that represents what you need to let go. Whoa, we got the King of Cups. How do you like that for a draw? All right, the King of Cups, th that card represents what you need to know. And you, we've got the Chariot. This is an uh, upcoming opportunity. Hmm. All right, the Queen of Swords. Feminine, divorcee, widow, just, witty, intelligent, independent. The queen represents making impartial judgments using intellect more than emotion. She is emotionally understanding, but fair with reason. Now that's something that you're supposed to let go. Now possibly it falls into the realm of emotions and some kind of uh, reasoning, a judgment that you need to make that perhaps you should just let it go. That's something you'll have to contemplate. Think about how that matches up with your world. The King of Cups, masculine, bachelor, artist, priest, empathetic, quiet, emotional, deep. The king represents full control of one's emotions and the ability to balance them with logic. It indicates someone who is mature and diplomatic. All right, and that is what you need to know for the month of November. Now, that could be you, someone you're associated with, perhaps your partner in life. Maybe they are the ones who you need to know about these attributes, something affecting your life. It's you personally. Could be you personally, could be someone so close to you that it seriously affects you. But it's probably personally you. Okay, so that's what you need to know. And we go on, we look at the chariot. Direction, determination, control, balance, victory, aggression, and travel. Now we're talking about upcoming opportunity. The chariot with its triumphant occupant indicates forward motion, success, and willpower. Although the sphinxes are on opposite color and pulling in opposite directions, the chariot still moves forward through the willpower of the driver. The chariot driver wasn't given any of his possessions. He earned them through dedication and personal achievement. And that represents your upcoming opportunity. Perhaps it's an opportunity for you to move forward through sheer willpower. And with that sheer willpower, the opportunity will come to you to move forward into what it is you are trying to do. And that's all I have to say about these cards. Show me yes. Okay, and counterclockwise is yes for me. Then I ask the pendulum to show me no. And as usual, clockwise is no for me. Okay, and now I will ask the question. Has this reading been given for the very best of the Querent Sagittarius? Have I done my best to correctly read these cards? Now, if you see my hand moving, that's because my hand moves the pendulum, but my subconscious brings the answers down to be shown through the pendulum through my ideal motor response. 
which is what makes my hand move. Okay, so we have yes. And that concludes the reading. That wraps up the tarot reading for the month of November. I hope this turns out to be in your best interest. You use it well, it's helpful, and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.